Right now, the Georgia Bureau of Investigation is looking into a shooting involving an officer last night in Savannah. This is the first in two years. WJCL 22 News' AJ Sisson joins us now live from where that shooting happened on Ogeechee Road. And AJ, the GBI has charged the shooter. Yeah, Shannon, actually right now where I'm standing is where the incident happened in the parking lot behind the Circle K right off Ogeechee Road. Savannah police tell us that the suspect fired at police first and now faces four separate charges. There was a shooting involving a Savannah police officer. This is our first officer involved shooting in almost two years. 29 year old Quayshawn Whitehurst is in the hospital with non life threatening injuries after exchanging gunfire with police Monday night. According to police reports, Whitehurst stole a book bag from an employee at Mary Jane's CBD across the street, crossed over that street to here at the Circle K and Ogeechee Road. That's where police found him. According to the GBI, that's when Whitehurst pulled out his own gun, fired at police, causing them to fire back. It is the policy of the Savannah Police Department not to investigate ourselves. The Georgia Bureau of Investigation has taken the lead on this case and charged Whitehurst with aggravated assault, possession of a firearm during commission of a crime, as well as a convicted felon and felony obstruction. Mayor Van Johnson talked Tuesday about police response and use of a firearm. It's a never a good thing when a police officer decides to use deadly force, uh, but the law is clear about when it's appropriate. And that's why investments in training are so important, not only to create muscle memory, but to create institutional judgment. Now, there is no timetable for this investigation, but we did reach out to the GBI for more information on this case, but would not tell us more than anything that we know right now. But as more information is released, we'll continue to update you on air and online at WJCL.com in Savannah. AJ Sisson, WJCL 22 News. AJ, thanks so much for that live report.